Well, it's a beautiful day today, but we have some horrific news. The Audi Turbo install is delayed yet again. Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. My name is Oris, behind the camera is Nestor. As you can see, the S4 is on the street. And why is the S4 on the street? Let's walk over. Uh, basically, I went to the mechanic for a routine oil change just to get it done before some stage two launch videos. And then obviously the stage three install with the TT Turbo. Um, and then he noticed, hey, you have a bit of a coolant leak, which I have seen a little bit of before. I thought it was no concern, but then I started the car and I saw a ton of white smoke after driving around very quickly. This could not have happened at a worse time. This whole weekend, past five days have been beautiful. We were planning on doing a lot of content on the Audi S4. Obviously, we just got the M2 G87. Let's pop the hood, man, and see what's going on here. All right, so where is the culprit here? All righty, so the actual water pump is located over there uh, behind this wheel here. Um, it may be a little tough to see, but there is a splashing of coolant all over this fan here, um, all over the ground there um, on the bottom of the engine. It's kind of everywhere. It might be tough to see in the shadows though. So it might be very difficult to see on camera, but in person, especially at night with a flashlight, um, it's all over the fan. It's on the bottom floor, like the plastic panels. Um, it's on some of the hoses. Um, it's kind of all over the place, to be honest. So the water pump is actually located in the center, as I may have indicated before. Um, this part from my research, I think you're supposed to service at about 50,000 miles. Now we're here in Canada. My car is at about 55,000 kilometers. So it should be good till 80K. But again, this car is tuned. I've done some crazy runs on this. So the actual way that I found out about the leak is kind of sketchy. Um, what happened is I went for a quick run just to take the car around. We did a little bit of work tightening some bolts. Um, I put it into comfort, drove around, and then finally I popped into dynamic. I did some really fast pulls because we're going to be doing a zero to 60 video and the engine started smoking white smoke. And then I pulled up right away, you know, turned everything off, made sure it was all good. And uh, that's how we found out. So uh, the car is actually getting done this week. I did have to leave it on the street just in case. Um, it's going to be completed. It should be about three to four hours of service. I ordered the water pump from Audi. It's like 500 ish Canadian. So pretty expensive plus the labor. I didn't want to do it myself because I got to take the front end off. Um, it's quite a bit of work and I just don't have the time because I'm going back to work. Um, but anyways, once that is done, then we'll finally be moving into the quality content you all can expect. And the quality content I'm talking about is right here. You got the turbo inlet, high pressure fuel pump, you got the silicone hose, you got the four bar map sensor kit, 034 adapters, and of course, let's not forget the TTE 710 turbo that is downstairs. So what we're gonna try to do for you guys is we're going in on Monday. So I'm going to try and get some footage of the actual busted water pump to see where it failed. Um, and then I'll bring my camera in, try to get some good shots of it and we'll go from there. All right guys, here we are with the BMW M2. It is now the next day. I was actually just at the shop. I forgot my SD card though, so we couldn't film in the shop. We had a nice breakdown of what the issue was from the mechanic um, and it was super interesting. Uh, but yeah, Oris is right around the corner, so let's uh, check in with him. And there it is. The Audi S4 is back in business, let's go. She working or what? She's working. Oh, thank goodness, man. All right. All right. Car is dirty, but she's smells, back in business. Smells fresh in here, actually. Smells like fresh metal. Okay, the, oh yeah, the coolant's all gone, so they actually dried it up, which is very nice. It's nice. off the fan, it's everywhere there. I can't complain. They took everything off. Hopefully it's all put back together well. Yep. Now this basically means it's almost time. It's, it's almost time. Let's go. Look, we got an oil change, so it's fresh. Yep. And we got a brand new water pump. So, so stage three yeah. is absolutely inevitable now. All right. Next weekend? Maybe two weeks. No, next Maybe weekend. Two. No, next, next weekend, weekend is cold and raining. Now, just so you Audi guys know, okay, I'm the BMW guy and I'm pushing him to get this install done soon, okay? So don't, be, don't blame me if it's delayed. Blame this guy right here. That's it. All right, so as you can see here. Open her up. Made in Germany, Wasser pump. All right. Cool, cool. There you go, there you go. So this is the old one, obviously. All right. And as you can see, the seals, they've changed those as well. So there's two of them. And now you can see here, there is a gasket um, in the middle. And right there, 
is where the rubber started to slip out. So that's actually not the leak. He was explaining to me that that's actually a secondary problem. Okay. So that was a, that is also an issue. So if you didn't, if this didn't leak, for example, mm -hmm. this also would have been an issue that you would have, you right. would have had to take care of. Yeah, they said this was a smaller issue. Yeah, so the leak was actually coming from, I believe he said it was right here actually at the top. I think it's like... I think he said the leak was coming from here. Yeah, it might have come from here somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's kind of sad because it's a little bit early. Yeah, you're it's only a little bit at, premature. You're only at what, 55,000 kilometers? 55K. Uh, I think it's about 35,000 miles roughly. Yeah, yeah. Give and or it, take. And it should be 50,000 miles, so 80K. Right, so this car definitely uh, definitely went a little early. Now, I'm not going to lie. All right, it spins. You've had quite a few issues on this car already. I have. You've had the turbo scare. Yes. You had to get a new turbo. Now, thankfully, that was free of charge. Warranty. Yep. Right, that was under warranty. And yep. now you're already having oil pump issues. This would have been warranty if I still had warranty, though. Okay, understood. But because understood. I'm out because of the tunes and everything what gotcha. are you gonna do that makes sense okay so yeah i mean the turbo was before the uh before the tunes and all that stuff which definitely sucked yeah so hopefully nothing else knock on knock on wood there's no wood on this yeah, car but yeah. i don't think there's anything else that is a known issue um that people have discussed right it's not huge i haven't seen too much content on it but uh we obviously didn't take it apart because i didn't have a full day to complete this job right and the mechanics know better all right well i guess that's good hopefully no more problems with this car yep. because obviously we got uh we got the summers on it we got to do some draggy times, some yes. quarter mile times, and of course, then the stage three. Yeah, we got the draggy and we're ready to go. All righty. All right, so that is going to close out this video. Um, we're going to be moving forward with all the installs, as you know. That's why we were delayed, because another issue on this car. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Give us a like if you enjoyed. If you have any questions about this part or anything else, let us know. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.